Shut up and sit down. Hi guys, I'm Dodge. I'm Andy. And this is Big Mech's Workshop and Paint Studio. Hey guys. So uh, this is the um, I Am A Wargamer uh, nomination video. Well, response video, I guess. But it's yeah. this is Big Mac's workshop, so it should be We Is Wargamers. We Is Wargamers. We Is Wargamers. Warg. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst warg of all time. I'm a chaos player, mate. May Gork and Mork strike you down. <laughs> I'll wear them as a coat. <laughs> you, you wish. <laughs> anyway, you're becoming a loyalist now, so you can shut up. Hey, stop, stop distracting us from the point of the video. All right, guys, so... We got nominated for this um, I Am A Wargamer thing by, uh, was it Winter Wizard? Yeah, Winter w Wizard. W was that Winter Wizard 7? Um, and we didn't, we didn't know anything about it. It was apparently started by uh, Spud from Chilling Wargames. So, thank you for starting us off. It's, actually, it's turned out to be a pretty uh, interesting idea. It has, and um, we've been looking around at other channels now, um, which is really the point of it, just having a look at other channels and talking to other people in the community. Yeah, and which is something we've always struggled with. We uh, we want to be involved in the community, but we've always been sort of on the fringes. Yeah, we just sit on the outskirts doing our own thing. Yeah, we sit on the outskirts doing our own thing and just like looking, going, yeah, normals. Ah, no, not normal people. Uh, so yeah, we, we've always uh, said we want to get more involved in. The Do community. they count as normal people if we're all nerds? Well, compared to us, oh, we are like our own subspecies. We're a subspecies of nerd. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. We're, uh, We've always said we want to be more involved in the community, and this is a perfect opportunity. So thank you uh, to Spud from Chilling War Gamers for starting this thing off. It's a really cool idea. And also thank you to Winter Wizard 7 for nominating us. So awesome. Yeah, I checked out his channel. I, I went and had a look on it. His thumbnails look smashing. I haven't actually got around to clicking a video. And one of the problems we've had with picking nominations for this is we just don't watch YouTube anymore like we no. used to. Um, we used to. Well, when we get into the questions, I'll explain how all that started, but it's too, it's too much where we do like five days a week in, yeah. in this studio. Um, it gets a bit much to go home and then sit and watch more tutorials, painting. yeah. You know, and spend uh, six or eight hours a day painting and then you watch some more painting. I'd rather be playing Mordheim. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So, well, we'll start off. Dodge, how did you get into the hobby? That's actually quite a long story. See, like, um, I was, like, proper young. When I was proper young, I was, like, near little school. I was that kid that had, like, skulls and stuff drawn all over absolutely everything in his books and stuff. And being majorly autistic, um, one of the people, they could never get me to focus on anything or do anything. So uh, one of the people that we're talking to uh, saw all the stuff on my, uh, on my books and was telling my parents check out this toy shop and it's not toys it might like my son or grandson's into this it might give him something to focus on yeah and the second i went in there i was like this is cool like and because the, the auto you you work with me it's tunnel vision you're like yeah. dodge this needs doing it's like i can't this is important now so that actually got me to sit down and do some stuff and as every everybody does when you're that age um i bought well, I think it was some skeleton warriors first because bones and death and skeletons, cool. And it took me all of five minutes to paint them. <laughs> yeah, you know, just five minutes, <laughs> and, and they were done. Um, yeah, there were the old metal ones as well. Um, obviously, they were absolutely covered in blood. Um, yeah, and the eyes were just big black holes on base white, just white on metal, no prime, no nothing. Yeah. Um, and then I got into it from there till my teens. Then. Um, what was it? Started playing a bit in my teens, off and on. I was always in my room, so to be honest, keeping me distracted and giving me something to focus on that really did work. Um, kept me busy. Um, then my teens happened; they disappeared. Then um, my Eved got me back into it a few years ago when it was Dark Reach. Was it the one with the orcs? Black Reach. Black Reach. He just was like, we're hanging out one day. I'd not played in ages. I, I can't remember. He just came over and was like. Yo, I've started collecting a bunch of 40k stuff and you used to be into this. Uh, do you want these orcs? And I was like, yeah, why not? I've not done any of this in ages. Um, and yeah, just got straight back on that and painted 
that war boss that's on the side. Yeah, yeah. Painted that war boss that's on the side, and that got us, well, got me into the commission work because I posted it on Facebook. Uh, Facebook, Facebook, and someone said, "Do you do commission work?" And which I looked at my missus and went, "I bloody do now." Uh, yeah, I started making some cash off that, and here we are now. Yeah. So how about I know that was a very long answer, but I sort of got it kind of planned out a little yeah. bit, and you know, it's a long story. But how about you? Oh, during a war. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say back in the Stone Age. <laughs> so yeah, we're talking thirty year ago now. Uh, I've always been into reading. Uh, and you are. You demolish a book. I, yeah, I can demol. I can demolish a book when I get into into a rhythm. Uh, but obviously, I start off with the choose your own adventure stuff. Mm. Um, you know, the are lone, the old books? Yeah, uh, the Lone Wolf by uh, stuff by Steve um, Jackson and Livingston. Yeah, turn to page. Yeah, oh, great stuff. Uh, so that's where that's where it got me into the uh, sort of a living fantasy sort of history sort of stuff, and. Um, when I went to middle school, I uh, got uh, talking to a lad, and he'd um, been a pl- his old man brought got him into a uh, hobby, mm. and he introduced me to a, a little standalone game called Blood Bowl, which you still occasionally dabble with. I and play. still dabble with it. I've got a soft spot for Blood Box. It was my first um, interaction with GW. Is it the nostalgia though? Yeah, um, it had the uh, foam uh, polystyrene board. You know, in three sections, and oh, I just lo- I love the artwork. I love the idea of these orcs and stuff running about, being just big and dumb. Yep. Uh, so I got to start off with Blood See, Bowl. Even you liked orcs. Oh yeah, they, they were my first team in Blood Bowl. Um, so I got I got I got involved with that, and then uh, as that um, time went on, I uh, bought uh, some epic stuff from Space Marine, the orcs and squats mix box with like stompers and. Bikes and I stuff. I think I remember that. Now, yeah, I, I did much the same thing with uh, painting them because I, I nicked my uh, dad's uh, poster paints. Because <laughs> um, I, I was always um, playing around with airfix kits, you know, aeroplanes and yeah, that sort of thing. But poster paint. But with poster paint, yeah. Uh, and I painted a, an epic scale orc stomper, so about the, si- about the size of a space marine um, stomper. Um, yeah, that was interesting. And ugly yeah <laughs> why Why can't I vision just this big white blob oh god it was disgusting and bright orange bright orange yeah it was bright orange and the orange was well it was a traditional 1980s orange so it didn't go over anything no it was just terrible um eventually I got into Warhammer um and uh, I played High Elves for a little while, so yes, yeah, so at one point I was a Conehead player. Shame on you! <laughs> Shame on Go me! On, get out. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, truth's emerged. Nineteen ninety three came and uh, started playing forty k when second edition came out. I got that for Christmas, uh, and I actually uh, had my first Traitor Legion, Dark Angels. <laughs> <laughs> so I played Dark Angels for a little while. Played dabbled with the Space Wolves, even in Eldar. And uh, then um, I still carried on playing through my teens, but uh, when I turned 19, I joined the army, so I started wearing green for a couple of years. Aye. Uh, which sort of... Stops you doing the hobby, really? Yeah, I just didn't have a time. I was too busy um, getting drunk. Up and down, marching in a square. Or running around hills, yeah. Um, when I left, uh, I went back into GW just because I'd, I'd always kept my... Um, Eyes on the stuff, so I was always involved in the hobby in so far as I was reading was the books. This and when such. Uh, Games Workshop was in Colonnades, yeah. So uh, before it moved uh, locations, I uh, went back and I uh, went straight onto Space Marines because I've always uh, had an affection for Space Marines um, and I played with Space Sharks, which was a uh, at the time called still called Space Sharks, which was a road trader. Area. I told you it's becoming a legionist, uh, but when, even. when I saw the light. Uh, after reading Aaron Dembski Bowden's Nightlord trilogy, and uh, that's when my uh, true allegiance uh, started to show, and I started wearing people's skins in my models. Yes, and uh, yeah, that leads us up to now, where I've played the uh, Nightlords for the last fifteen years now. Even though they aren't very good currently. Yeah, even though they do blow goats. I'll give you that; you do stick to uh, what you like, yeah. regardless. 
And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm just in the process of starting a new project, which is just purely for painting purposes, which is a uh, Legion of the Damned. Of course, right. more skulls. Skulls are good. Yeah. Skulls on, on fire. I mean, skulls on fire. Alive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's all good. But that is my uh, first hobby experience. Uh, you know, the uh, choose your own adventure books. Great, yeah. ta- great times reading them. So. Dodgy, why did you start YouTube? <laughs> right, so I just pick up where I left off, really. Once that uh, once that commission work had started coming in, uh, once you started doing commission painting, I went into our local games workshop, and uh, Kieran, who is an awesome manager, by the way, so if you ever do see this, Kieran, you were awesome. I, yeah. hope, you, I hope you do come back to Donny. You are our best manager we've ever had, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Good times. He, he was warning me, um, don't turn what you like doing, uh, your hobby, into a job, unless you're really going to do it. And he was right. It does get tedious at times. Oh, but okay. um, So, as being a commission painter, you need to get out there. So, I basically came up with Big Mech's workshop, and then I just stamped and stole all the URLs from every social media, and then didn't do anything with it for a few years while I was doing the commission work. Then started making videos so people could uh, see the photos and the videos of how things were done. I was very inspired though by people like uh, Lester Bursley, um, Girl Painter. By Painted. By Painted, who was really good. And Mel, because I really enjoyed uh, Mel the Terrain Shooter's stuff as well. So I spent a lot of time back then. I used to watch videos all the time. I was like, what these guys are doing is awesome. I'd love to make videos and do this too. So if any of those guys ever end up watching this video, Big thanks for all that inspiration um, and all those lessons along the way. But uh, that's basically what got us, like, got me into YouTube. And then we, well, I met you at the grid and you jumped on some of the commission work with me. And we just carried on. At that point, we started taking YouTube a bit more seriously. Um, and just started making videos all the time and decided once we weren't doing it for commission purposes... It can actually be quite fun just making videos for the sake of it. Yeah. And I think that brings us up to date, I think. Yeah, so for me, um, I can t- uh, I can lay uh, YouTube totally at Dodger's feet. It's he- he's to blame for me making videos. Uh, about five years ago, wasn't it, uh, when we met? Four or five years ago. Yeah, that was Has great. it been that long? Maybe. Maybe a little less. Is it just us, right? It can't just be us. When, when you're at the desk for long periods of time, like the seasons just change. You look up, you're like, it's winter now? Well, yeah, when did that happen? It can't, it can't just be us. I mean, yeah. you, just, you look there with your lamps on, it's like being in a casino. You don't have any sense of time. Anyway, carry on. So, mate. yeah, um, I, w- I was doing a, the odd bit of commission painting at the time myself. Um, and uh, Dodge sort of uh, was it, uh, introduced to me as, uh, you know, we had an inv- uh an interest in painting says well Andy over there he, um, he does it too uh, we got chatting and um, then uh, started getting introduced to YouTube because I've never really been a big YouTube um, follower no. um, and like you say by painted and uh, Lester Bursley and um, Vince Ventrilla is a guy who inspires me a hell of a lot that guy's amazing um, so we started uh, making the videos and well our back catalogue has got some very shaky ones. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a whole video in the banner and bushes somewhere about the studio history and yeah. stuff like that. We've been from the the grid, which was terrible to work in. We went outside to get warm. Yeah, it was freezing in there. Um, and we also shared, for for a long period of time, we shared a single plug socket. Yes. Which, um, when you've got back, two airbrushes it's, and a bunch of lights, it's not good. Yeah, looking back, it's hilarious. Then we moved to the garage, and yeah. that's really when we started taking YouTube seriously. And I think yeah. the first big hit video that we had that did really well was the out of pay Plague Drones. Yeah, you paid, the Plague Drones did really well. Aye. Um, and then that took off, and we discovered everyone likes Nurgle, so we did a month of Nurgle. Yes. An entire month of just Nurgle videos. Um, then we spent, once we got in here, um, things settled down. And we started to work at our own pace after a while on YouTube. We were, we're like, the smaller channels that are going to watch this, um, keep going. Because yeah. we do understand how much of a grind that it is. is. It's so hard. Um, because you have to keep feeding YouTube when you're a small channel. You just, If you want to make your channel bigger, you just have to keep feeding it video after video after video. Um, just so it counts those small amount of views as something pushes it along. Yeah, um, it, it's... It's exhausting. 
to be fair. Where is now? Be- oh, go on. Uh, it, it is. It's absolutely exhausting at times uh, to keep YouTube um, going. Uh, and especially if you're just a painting channel. Um, you know, you guys know how much effort goes into each individual video. You're talking five or six hours at least on a single paint job. Then the editing process and the voiceovers and all that sort of good stuff. Yeah, uh, so takes sometimes it can take a day on its own. Yeah, so we, but you've got to keep an eye because eventually it'll start to tick over on its own. It will, uh, and I've noticed a lot. Like you know, we're not bragging here. It's a lot of the other channels on this. Um, I'm a war gamer. Uh, we've noticed there's a lot of little channels that we've not really seen or paid attention to. But when you get bigger, it will get easier because, yeah. like we've discovered, you can take. When you're about our side, you could take a week or two off, and the algorithm doesn't it doesn't mind so much on YouTube. It's like, well, when they post a video, it's gonna get a f- bunch of hundred views here straight yeah. away. So, yeah, but we we know how much of a grind it is to get your momentum going if you really just want to make a, a nice big YouTube channel. And also for to the uh, uh, the channels were just approaching a thousand. Watch out! Watch out! That that first that first thousand. Um, yep. is enjoy it. Absolutely yeah. enjoy it. But the weeks after. It's soul destroying. It's a, phew, it goes from I've made it to a thousand to wow. The next milestone seems forever so away. That's away, the yeah. make and break if you're going so, to go for YouTube big. The be- biggest piece of advice I can um, suggest is just keep on at it, keep on grinding. That the uh, that it's first hundred, yeah, that first that first hundred after the thousand will come. It just seems to take forever. It it really does. Um, I think that definitely answers that question. Yeah. So where do you see your channel in five years? Well, we're up and down at the moment. The oh, moon. The moon. <laughs> <sighs> I have to put up with them all day, you know. Right, I don't know. Um, hopefully, well, see, we long term when I started this, after doing the commission work and the, the back and forth on commission to video and what I do and don't enjoy doing, I do want to make this channel something big with lots of different videos on it. I, I do... I hope eventually my aim is to get more staff in yeah. so it eases the work so we can make more videos. I mean, we, I want to make battle reports. We're still building the armies because when we do release them, there's a lot of work. I want We want a decent map. We want decent terrain. We want well-painted armies. We want good camera work. So yeah. I'm just looking up and up. It, you know what I mean? It's constantly grinding. In five years, I would, it, it, I, I would love to have a third or fourth painter um, a third or fourth member of, uh, in the team. Yeah, like helping out with editing, yeah. making different videos, because... That would be absolutely brilliant. Because the way YouTube works, when you get to that point, that many people, we bring out a video two a week. Well, that's three or four. YouTube's much happier with that, and the channel the yeah. channel grows. Um, Once the extra artists and uh, people involved will um, be a massive boon to us. It'd be out constant videos, constant content, uh, better quality stuff, more... Uh, things what more fun things what we can do as well so it's not just about a painting we can actually start getting involved with other things you know more uh, days out going to see um, different events so that's the sort of stuff we enjoy doing yeah we used to get invited to cover events that was yeah fun. that's cool when you get when you get to uh, cover events uh, that's a you lot get of to fun. cover events and then on an evening be own kebabs I and mean, what's not to like about that yeah that was a good event <laughs> Really good kebab too. That's just some of the stuff we like to do. We like to go places, you know, the patrons help fund that. It's like, hey, we're going here, we're going to cover this event, have some beer, have some kebabs, go home, edit that footage. Yeah. So we, we do want to, well, in my, I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to make this something bigger. It's just, it's such a grind getting YouTube to recognize your work. Yeah. We have had a lot of people look at our channel and go, why have you not got more subscribers and views on your videos? We get out a lot. Um, so yeah, that's what that's where I'd, I'd like to be. I'd like to have a, um, a couple of extra staff, um, a couple of um, staff members in there, in here, um, helping out, getting just ease that workload so it's not yeah. not that, not that stressful. Although we've got a good pace going at the moment, but it goes yeah. up and down depending on how well. It's being a YouTuber, at least the way I am anyway, watching the algorithm go up and down and the view counts, that can be actually quite stressful on yeah. your mental health it's like why is it not doing that good this month the what? last the last couple of videos um what we've dropped what i've dropped on the uh painting side of things you put loads of effort into celestine and right just and not i and i just did i pointed a camera that's some very, very shoddily at a bunch of necrons on the table and it overtook the view count on your painting yeah. tutorial it, 
sometimes um, YouTube just confuses the hell out of you. Um, yeah. And it'll do things what you don't I suggest expect. not watching the numbers, to be honest. Um, yeah. You're a bugger for that. It's been a, a long habit for yeah. the years. It's it's now really going to be really hard for me not to watch the numbers. Yeah. Um, so I advise if you want a low uh, one of the low subscriber count channels, don't. Don't don't watch. Don't know what. Don't no. watch your numbers. Don't watch your analytics and just do your thing because it has actually definitely think of it. It's become a habit for me. Every day, yeah. it's first thing. What the first thing I do? Let's check our analytics. Let's see where we're going. Um, takes the fun out of it rather than just throwing content out for people to watch and enjoy the comments. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of waffle. We're good at waffle. Yeah. Anyone who watches us on the banner and bushes knows we're good at waffle. Yes, yeah, very true. We do sort of meander about on our um, chatty videos. Yeah. They're easy to make. True. That's why we want to make more more content like this. We want to do more, yes. Like that one we want about 40k in the engine in the cupboard. We're going to make that next week. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a cool idea. It sounds it's, like a it's lot a of weird, fun. It's a weird concept. It's just something to have a chat about yeah. and have a chat in the comments and a laugh. Yeah, it's the sort of thing we want to do a little bit more often, not just about yeah. the videos. It's extra content. Okay, so now we're going to uh, round this out with the um, nominations. So we've uh, found three channels. Um, what are just getting involved? Aye. Uh, and it was. It took a while to find them out to, to find uh, to find channels what really um, suited because we could have called out some of the big guys. Uh, but well, I've but, already give them a big thank you anyway yeah. if they ever watch this. And it sort of defeats the object. We want to. Um, it's all about sh- um, sharing YouTube with the, the small channels um, so getting everybody out there really building the community really stoking the fires of YouTube yeah, get, letting everyone find everybody else I think it's at Spud's done a, a good thing there and it's yeah. actually really brought the smaller channels together they can help support each other's channels and vice versa yeah and I think it's a really good idea alright so um, the first one is the first one who actually came to mind uh Captain Morgan, it's been a long time since I've heard anything from you. Captain Morgan's Wargaming, which is now actually just CM Wargaming. Um, he basically he likes to talk tactics, uh, show off units, stuff like that. So his channel's basically him enjoying his hobby, um, yeah. which is absolutely fine for him. But, you know, he bought a heap of bases off us. And uh, I remember him doing a 100 subscriber giveaway at one point with... We sent him the first batch of the new bases because he yeah, bought yeah, so yeah. many. And um, yeah, we, I checked the other day and he's, he's still making videos and doing his thing is at 392 now. So yeah, he's, stuff, he's, he's still working on his channel and uh, enjoying what he does. So Captain Morgan's Gaming was the first first guy that came to mind uh, when being nominated for this. So now you you have another video to make. Okay, another one uh, what I found. Um, I was uh, roaming around Face Palm the other day and uh, had a a bit of a uh, a lucky break. Um, I was on the uh, IDIC beer uh, unification um, chat group, and I found another um, very uh, small uh, channel. It just looks like he's just getting into it. Bigfoot hobbies, and he does a bit about he does a bit of everything. It's all about the hobby itself. Um, oh yeah, it's all about. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's reading my notes. I had yeah. to check my notes. It's all, it's all about the hobby itself, and talks about all kinds of stuff. Uh, so um, check him out. It's, uh, just getting it's into the, it. It's the same as Captain Morgan. It's like yeah. I'm doing this. I'm liking that. So, so it's ju- more of a vlog channel yeah. sort of thing. And he's he's just getting into it. Um, last I checked, it's about sixty subscribers. Sixty-six. Uh, yeah, nice one. So he's uh, he's, he's uh, flying up there. So I've actually, I think if it's the guy, I think it is. I've seen his da- death dread before. I think rivets. Uh, is it rivets and Dakar or Dakar and rivets? I think he shared it in one of his showcases. So very cool looking stuff. So uh, check him out. Um, that's another one. Uh, a nice uh, new channel. Uh, it's good to see new blood. Yeah, that could use some support. And again. Um, there's actually a lot of these channels that are just basically just people enjoying their hobby and sharing it, which is a part of the community we really haven't got ourselves involved in. No, it's not. Uh, it's not something um, we've looked at. And to be fair, it's definitely something we should uh, consider. Yeah. Um, and finally, uh, Family of Gamers seven seven seven. They are the. The unboxing the, review guys yeah unboxing and reviews uh, tend to steer towards uh, Mortal Gods and that sort of thing 
uh, so be, um, ancients and what have you. But uh, got a really cool, um, some really interesting stuff on there. I do a lot of, um, like I say, unboxing type things. Aye. Uh, again, uh, they're around about the fifteen hundred mark. So they, they've uh, managed to break through that uh, that morale uh, the, <laughs> that morale the crusher. break of morale. Yeah. Um, uh, so congratulations. I think Just it only happens with the first thousand. To be yeah. honest, it's because once you hit the two, it's like oh, I got through this last time. Yeah. But it's that first thousand. Yeah, that first thousand is hard. You really enjoy it. You, you, you're so excited for the first week or two, and then the numbers are just slowly going. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're like, and you're like, uh, this is hard. So, good luck to you guys. Uh, keep yeah. on making the content. And uh, I did just mention him. I was going to nominate Ribbits and Dakar, but when I went to go check out his channel, he's already been nominated and done his video. Uh, I do like his content anyway. It was different. Um, yeah, it's basically a showcase of other stuff with narration over it. So that's, like I said, that's a completely different part of the community. We've always been focused on putting our commission skills to, to good use and showing off ta ta tactics, techniques. Oh, yeah, I've got to say, showing off tactics. <laughs> but watch us play, mate. I ain't got no tactics. <laughs> Says King Snake Eyes, I can't roll dice. Well, exactly, yeah. There's no point in me having tactics. Nah, not at all. Right. That has actually brought us to the end of the video. Yeah. Hopefully it didn't go on for too long. I'm not going to edit much of this because it's Friday and today I'm being lazy, so this can come out Monday, Tuesday. So. And I'm going to the pub. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You got a game on or are you just going straight to a pub? I'm going to the pub. Uh, I might just drink a, a few bottles of vodka tonight or something. Nothing spectacular, just having a few in a beer gone because it's uh, been a nice week. It has, actually. It's a bit muggy at the moment. All right, shall we get the the... The outro is out of the way. Yep. And then you guys can leave. It's all good. So, um, we get a lot of support from our patrons, and they are absolutely awesome. It took a long time to build up our patron support, but uh, we do love our patrons. Yeah, you guys a are solid gold. They pay us so much more than YouTube does. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube don't pay us nothing, man. So. Right, big thank you to the Og Boys, Matt, Ludwig Hofbauer, D Wack, Mark, Dave, Tom, Spiky Dude, Warren, and the new subscriber Ben. Yes, who just bought an entire World Eaters army off he you. He did, he bought my World Eaters and then became a Patreon. That is awesome. <laughs> it is. Um that's epic. So we've got we've got our affiliate links. Yeah, but it's auto made for our tutorials, so we don't have to say or do anything. Just want to help support the channel and get cheap models and hobby supplies? Click the Element Games affiliate link in the description yeah. for 15 to 25% off. Use the promo code BIG223 on checkout to earn crystals. As crystals equal cash in your Element Games account yeah. that can be spent on your next purchase so everybody wins. Yeah, that should be about long enough. See you soon, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.